And Tajay Teague is the guy that makes them go. Coach Whitford let us know he doesn't have to score big to have, you know, his imprint on the game. He can do it in so many other directions. And in the lane, the first points from Nazea Carter for the Washington Huskies. And, but when you think about what Nazea Carter does, his ability to shoot the ball from beyond the three-point arc, he makes them, it has a chance to make them an elite team. Newly christened number zero, and was wearing number four. And that's something we can see a lot of in this game, as we also can see a lot of Isaiah Stewart on the interior, bigger than his actual size. Probably a legitimate six foot eight, but seven four wingspan. If you see another block shot, and the follow, but a great job by Tajay T. My book, you will see some man-to-man -man from the Huskies. Well, Mike Hopkins will be the first to tell you this is U Dub. This is not Syracuse, and he has his own style of play and, and be successful. Ishmael El Amin ties the game for Ball State. Corner three from Jaden McDaniels, and taking the rebound away, Tajay Keegan has it poked away. Three from El Amin, and we're tied. Knock down another three. Ball State, 13th in the country. In made threes per game is McDaniels the miss. The rebound tipped out to Jaden McDaniels, and Washington reclaims the lead. Punches from deep, way off on the three, and here comes Jerron Coleman. Coleman for Ball State, lays it in and ties it again. Ade Green goes to the bench. Jamal Bay in the game in up Bay. top as well. Yeah, you look at the guards and the size up front, and they can affect so much. But team in Washington in terms of how deep James Whitford will go with his bench. Nice high low to Isaiah Stewart. That's a great seal. His teammate could get to it. Try for the reverse, and K.J. Walton, the Missouri transfer. Didn't leave himself an angle. A transition three from Jaden McDaniels. A ball down the floor and a pull-up three in transition. One. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and we got him here today. <laughs> and a three from Ishmael El Amin. We know his father, Khalid El Amin, of course, what he did at UConn winning national championship and his ability to shoot it from beyond the arc. And, and an answer from Jaden McDaniels. <laughs> I mean, and 11 for Jaden McDaniels. Here's KJ Walton with the long two. And the rebound tipped and Teague with the follow for Ball State. It really is. And when you consider the size of Teague right there in the mix once again. Quade Green hits it from outside. The lob inside for Isaiah Stewart. Quade Green. Three without having a foul and they're challenging everything at the rim but you know give ball state credit they found their range from beyond the arc Teague on the offensive glass and Quaddy Green was headed out the Mike Hopkins shoved him back on the court and Jaden McDaniels well I don't think you can keep him on the floor for the remaining nine minutes and 15 seconds of this I would look to get him a break <laughs> Jerron Coleman from way out there. Okay, because the number used to be 351. Yeah, then it got to 353. Okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm it's just always going sure. up. Because I'm a math guy, but my numbers just weren't adding up on that one. But let me tell you, man, they can switch at any position and come away with the turnover. The turnover leads to a run out and a fall away off the window from Nazea Carter. Over, leading them out into transition. Inside for Isaiah Stewart in the slam. Largest lead for Washington. Largest lead. And James Whipper talking with him yesterday told me he honestly was shocked watching the film and seeing Washington defend man to man. But he also said, but they're good at it. Count it and one for KJ Walton. <laughs> <laughs> Back door and at the rim, Hamir Wright blocks a shot, but Jerron Coleman stays with it. And came up with that travel schedule. Jamal Bay, a three. At that game. It was nice. played in Oakland. In the Oakland Coliseum Arena, the former home of the Golden State Warriors. Would look at trying to get him out oftentimes whenever you can to make sure, especially on defensive possessions. It's Hawaii, right? It's anything possible over Everything here. Everything was better here in Hawaii. Amir right from the corner. Hits a three. Finish the regular season as the number one team in the lane going into the NCAA tournament. Al Mallers flips it underneath and Tajay Teague just does beat the shot clock. Up there, taking all the contact. 
and picking up the offensive foul. Jerron Coleman the steal. Coleman drives in and a goal 10 against Isaiah Carter. I was basketball and they said the game was just so much faster, but they also said, but I'm getting used to it now. And they look like they had gotten used to it here this evening on the floor. Rims out for Hamir Wright. Here come the Cardinals. Long outlet. Tajay Teague running the floor and it trims the Washington lead to five. Second half, but you see once again, Green having to defend Tajay Teague, getting the ball inside the Teague, makes looks available. Have to get the basketball in his hands if you're the Cardinals on offense. Ball State has outscored Washington 9-1, now 9-3 to start the second half. 16 for Tajay Teague to lead Ball State. Quade Green with 16 to lead Washington. As down on the floor is Ishmael El Amin. In the man-to-man, -man. and you can remember early in the first half, Ball State was the team that got the three-point party started off. Great touch. Underneath the lay in Isaiah Stewart. Eight straight for the Huskies. But, but also can score and get it done on the interior. So, Jaden McDaniels is a prototypical NBA player. That ends a long drought for Ball State. It's head here in the second half for the Huskies. But Carter, who had that turnover, comes up with the steal. Showtime! Nazaire Carter! And if you're going to talk about his uncle, a.k.a. Ho, you have to say, allow me to reintroduce myself. <laughs> Game with his four fouls. And a smart play by T. Doesn't turn out, but of course, going out of bounds, doesn't throw the basketball. Hamir right in transition. Green has done a great job fighting and fronting, but Nazaire Carter has basically said, I'm going to guard him. Even though I'm a shooting guard and he's a big, I'm just going to guard him in this. Take El Amin out of the mix. Ishmael El Amin had his way the first 10 minutes of this game. Mike Hopkins switched the defense to the man-to-man, -man, and from there, they have guarded the three-point line extremely well. The threes that Ball State is going to take to beat you, then you're just going to have to lose. Second three for the freshman. Quade Green, corner three. Amir Wright open from three. Isaiah Stewart, the offensive rebound. And the putback. Third in the Pac-12 preseason poll. Oregon was picked to win the Pac-12. As a corner three from Jaden McDaniels. And of course, this is where they can really be special defensively. Career high time 20 for the <laughs> when they were in high school. <laughs> it's clear they didn't like you because they didn't follow you. Those are my guys. Those are my guys. They love me. They just didn't want to come to the hill. Isaiah Stewart now at 19. So he continues to round into shape and gives them that point guard play that they're going to need, of course, moving forward in the Pac-12 play. The roll for Quade Green. When they were guarding the zone by Washington. Besides struggling shooting the ball, Corey, what have you noticed that's allowed Washington to pull away? Defensive team, and again, I know that, of course, Mike Hopkins grew up under Coach Beheim as a coach with the zone, but give Hop credit for what he's done. Carl, if they can continue to keep this level of production going and be consistent, that's the one thing that Coach Hopkins is going to want from this team. But pick third in the Pac-12? This team continues to get better. They could be Pac-12 champs. Pac-12 is a much better league this year than it was a year ago. And the Huskies ranked number 22 at 85-64 opening round win over Ball State. Mike Hopkins' team now 9-2.